NASA's Curiosity rover looked up from the surface of Mars on the first of this month and saw two moons passing in the night. The rover's telephoto lens imaged Phobos passing in front of the other Martian moon, Deimos. It is the first time that the two moons have been seen eclipsing one another from the surface of the red planet. Meanwhile, NASA's next Mars probe, MAVEN, has arrived at the Kennedy Space Center to begin final preparations for its launch in November. This week, technicians attach the antenna to the spacecraft. The probe will orbit Mars and try to determine why the planet dried up and cooled off. A bright new nova has appeared in the constellation Delphinus. It has brightened to magnitude plus five, making it possible to see with the naked eye in dark skies. With binoculars, it can be seen without too much difficulty. Novae are small, compact, dying stars that suddenly brighten as they violently take on material from a companion star. Kepler's planet finding days are over. Earlier this year, the $600 million space observatory lost its ability to precisely aim its telescope due to mechanical problems. This week, ground controllers said that they had failed to find alternative ways to accurately point Kepler. The mission has already identified 135 planets orbiting other stars, and thousands more might still be confirmed by scientists sifting through the data.